Welcome back to Indian Trace. You're getting a good look at some open countryside. On a good river here. If you can see down through the woods, I don't know if we can get the focus in. Good river here in North Carolina. I got one piece, I haven't found a whole lot, but I'm doing reconnaissance today. What you're looking at is washed out beans in an area they don't grow well, which often indicates an ancient Indian site. I'm doing reconnaissance though. This is not a site, not yet. I've got a crystal arrowhead up here, and if it's all I find, it's going to be worth it, so hang in there. Let's check this out. I want you to know, I came from all the way over here. Back there, because I found a couple, and it was three years ago plus. But I figured I would rule this out and stop uh, assuming anything. Come down here, rule the area out, you never know. It could get ruled in. It could be a site in one day with 25 pieces. Don't I wish. But, this starts it when I jumped over here. See this bright sun? Can you see anything? And if it finishes it, it makes my time out here worthwhile because it was easy to get to today. Look at this piece. Bright, shining sun. Don't know where Specs World went, but this is Specs World style. And he found, I don't know anybody find in, more incredible, great, little, teeny smokers than Speck did. Guess that's why he called it Speck. Look at this piece, will you? Indian Trace. Don't want to take a long time, but just want to show you how that works. Mud, definite artifact. Let's uh, move it. What was underneath it? A long time, that's all I know. That was underneath it. So, I'm going to leave it at that. Thank you, with the gnats and the 101 degree temperature. I just breathe some in. They taste good, don't they? Anyway, hope you find out there. That right there is a good shot of it. Indian Trace.